Right, in the previous video, we looked at the whole cell cycle and interface, right? We looked at interface on how interface is basically divided into your G1, S, and G2 phase. And then it is pr practically the longest phase of the whole entire cell cycle. And then after interphase, we, uh, it goes into mitosis where it divides up until cytokinesis where it divides into two identical cells. Remember in mitosis, after the whole mitosis, after cytokinesis, you'll have two identical cells with the same number of chromosomes. When we say identical, we mean a photocopy with the mother cell and the daughter cells are a photocopy. Right, and then in, in in interface, basically you, you you can see your centrosomes, your nu your nuclear membrane is still intact, your nucleolus is visible, you have your chromatin network that means your unorganized form of DNA, and we also looked at uh, uh, importance of mitosis. Why does mitosis happen? Your for replace for replacing old worn out cells and repairing them, um, and then your reproduction. Uh, but for example, your binary fusion in bacteria, your for growth, for example, right? So basically, I summarize the importance of mitosis into what I like to call grr. I know it sounds funny, but that's, that's how I remember the importances of mitosis. Growth, my grr includes growth, rep replace, repair, reproduction. Grr. The importances of mitosis, right? Now, a cell just before it goes into 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 mitosis. Now, when everything is clear for it to go into my into mitosis, is it basically has to have its DNA replicated during interphase. That's why interphase is so long. DNA is replicated. Uh, more proteins are made during that phase. More organelles are made during that phase in preparation for mitosis. Now, let's look at mitosis. As a phase of the cell cell cycle, mitosis. And remember, MB mitosis only uh, happens in what in your somatic cells. Mitosis in somatic cell, not your sex cells. So again, I'm gonna look at my uh, mitosis in an animal cell because there's a difference between mitosis in in plant cells and in animal cells. So let's start by and I'm going to mention the differences as I go on. Let's start by looking at mitosis. Mitosis is divided into phases, right? Uh, into phases. I, 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 I cram a lot. So how I cram, this, cram the phases of mitosis is pro-meta-anatino. It's pro-meta-ana. Uh, let's fix that. No functioning. Pro-meta-anatino. Right, those are the uh, phases of mitosis. So, one is called prophase, the prophase of mitosis. Now, what happens during prophase of mitosis? I will explain this by drawing a cell. Oh, there's my animal cell right there. Now, during prophase, a couple of things or important things that, that start to happen, I'm just going to note them. Your nuclear envelope or nuclear membrane, so your nuclear membrane starts to disappear. Your nuclear membrane starts to disappear. It dissolves basically because it won't be needed through the whole process. Again, you start seeing that your nucleolus also disappeared. Nutely or less disappeared as well. Disappear, disappeared. Now, your nucleus is no longer there. What else? Now, the funny thing now, remember that chromatin network. Yeah? Your chromatin network starts to become visible. It calls up basically. So, your DNA starts becoming visible. That's what that, that's what happens to that's what happens in prophase in preparation for the whole cell to split. Right? So be, because in mitosis there, there are two main things that happen, right? 
first the nucleus will split and then into two the whole cytoplasm will split let's remind ourselves what is the cytoplasm cytoplasm basically in, uh, is all the cell contents uh, excluding the nucleus all the cell contents including excluding the nucleus is your cytoplasm then let's look at what else happens in the in the cell during prophase your centrosomes now start splitting centrosomes move to opposite poles of the cells so your central zones move to opposite poles of the cell that is your whole pro face that's what happens those are the things that are noticeable in pro face right and then this DNA will now coil into what we call a chromosome. Now, before we move on to the next phase of mitosis, I quickly want to just draw the structure of a chromosome so that we know what is a chromosome. I know I'm, I'm, I'm an artist at this. So a chromosome will more or less look like this. More or less, yeah. And basically, it will be labeled as this is the short arm of the chromosome. Short arm. And then this is the long arm of the chromosome. What you need to know is this central part called the centromere of the chromosome. Centromere and centrosomes are, and centrosome are two different things. The centromere is basically this part that connects two sister chromatids together sister chromatids these are sister chromatids we have one sister chromatid over here and another over here so these are two sister chromatids which will later split right good now that we got that out of the way now as i mentioned this dna is basically going to become what the dna is basically going to become your chromosomes from chromatin network that is the organized form of dna it's called a chromosome now let's move to the next phase of mitosis which is metaphase the easiest phase of them all easy to identify even under a micrograph ne? or even a, 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 as a micrograph you'll see it in micrographs what happens during mitosis uh, metaphase pardon everybody has heard of the equator but nobody has ever seen it because it's an imaginary line right what is the equator They're basically the equatorial region of the earth also a cell has an equatorial region or the equator of the cell which is called the metaphase plate the metaphase plate yeah. So I'll choose a number of uh, chromosomes that I have in here. I'll choose two to save time. I'll choose two chromosomes to save time. So what happens during metaphase? These are my two chromosomes. During metaphase, we'll have the chromosomes lined up on it, the equatorial region of the cell, which is called the metaphase plate. That's what happens during metaphase. The equatorial region of, uh, of the cell, that's where your chromosomes will line up. And again, we'll have those central zones at opposite ends of the cell. Your central zones will be at opposite ends of the cell. Now, your central zones produce what? The reason that you have central zones is that they'll produce these other microtubules called spindle fibers they produce your spindle fibers now what are spindle fibers so your spindle fibers your spindle fibers spindle fibers are used basically to move chromosomes during the entire mitosis right so they will attach to the central mere of the chromosomes right the spindle fibers will attach to the central mirrors of the chromosomes and then they move them uh, around during my, the whole of my 
choices. Good. Now, NB, not that bad. Ne? This only happens in uh, all animal cells and some uh, so some plant some plant cells, no, but not all. So in, in most plant cells, what happens is that the spindle fibers are produced directly from the cytoplasm. So that is the first difference in mitosis between plants and animal cells. So the spindle fibers are produced directly from the cytoplasms in plant cells. In animal cells, they come from the central zones. That is the first difference. Let's move to the next cycle. Sorry, the next phase. Right, for metaphase now, let's move to anaphase, the anaphase of mitosis. Anaphase. So what happens in anaphase? I'm going to draw it a bit of a, yeah, uh -huh. it's a bit of a bigger cell. Remember in metaphase, they aligned on the equatorial region of the cell. Now, in anaphase, what happens is that the spindle fibers produced by the central zones, those spindle fibers will start contracting. As they contract, it's like they're playing a tug of war. As they contract, they will pull the two sister chromatids apart. That means your, that means the two will split and go to different poles of the cell. Basically, what, what is also splitting is your central nerves are splitting. Now, look at this way. I have one, two, three. So here's one, two, three, and four chromosomes in one cell. Initially, I had two, right? How do you count the number of chromosomes in a cell? Simply, I always say just count the number of, chrom uh, of central mirrors that you see. So now I have four chromosomes in this cell, whereas in metaphase I had two chromosomes. But once the sister chromatids are pulled apart to different poles, then I count the number of centromeres again, I find that, that I have four chromosomes in my cell. So that's what happens during anaphase. Your chromosomes basically get to be, uh, your chromo sister chromatids get to be pulled apart. Né? They are drawn to different poles of the cell. So that's basically your phase of my ptosis, right? So those single strand ones are, are moved apart. Then from anaphase, implementer and telophase, we move to telophase of my ptosis. Telophase, the business end of my ptosis. Now, here we go. I think I drew it perfectly. Great. In in telophase, basically, the nucleus the, we have two we, we have two new nuclei that are being formed. So the nuclear membrane starts to appear. Ne? Nuclear membrane. So it's making a comeback. The nuclear membranes make a comeback, but on different poles of the cell. So we have two new nuclei, two new nuclei. Nuclei is basically uh, plural for nucleus. One nucleus, two nuclei. Then what else makes it makes a comeback? The nucleolus. Nucleolus makes a huge comeback as well. The nucleolus. It's going to make a comeback during telophase. Then what's going to happen to your DNA? All those chromosomes of yours, all those chromosomes of yours start unwinding now. They start to relax and become what? They become chromatin. They go back to becoming your chromatin network. Here's your nucleolus in there. That's basically what happens during your telophase. So we have the nucleolus, two things reappear, the nucleolus and the nuclear membrane. And then we'll have your chromosomes basically turning back into chromatin network so these go back back to chromatin network so as i said mitosis is split in two right the splitting of the two nuclei 
and the split, splitting of the whole whole cytoplasm that's what basically splits right okay fine now let's now let's go to uh, uh, a part of the cell cycle known as cytokinesis i'm, I'm still going to use the same the same cell what happens during cytokinesis okay let me draw another one so during cytokinesis during cytokinesis now it happens almost simultaneous i wouldn't say simultaneous but almost the same time as telophase we'll have that nuclear membrane the nucleolus your chromatin network on both sides right here's something to notice now during this part you have this part over here which is called the cle the cleavage furrow so that is cytokinesis in animal cells we have something called the cleavage fur so what is cleave basically think of dough when you make dough for madambolo maguinha uh, fat cakes whatever when you make dough when you want to separate it into two you grab it you use your uh, pointing finger and your thumb uh, your your opposable thumb basically your big thumb to basically uh, cleave it basically separate it from the outside inwards so that's what happens so basically in animal cells the cleavage furrow forms that is this part over here it cleaves it from the outside inwards yeah? from the outside inwards separating the whole cytoplasm into what into two daughter cells now now those cells will separate into two identical cells the mother cell and the daughter cell excuse me now i have one cell and another one they're exactly identical it might not look like it from my drawings but they are now we have a full uh, nuclear membrane and the nucleolus full nuclear membrane and the nucleolus and your chromatin net network inside there so this will be your mother cell and your daughter cell right so basically this is your cytokinesis in animal cells so you, you are wondering so what happens in plant cells let's look at cytokinesis in plant cells in plant cells let's give let's throw a plant cell over here obviously they have shape this is cytokinesis in plant cells cyto kinesis my body is malfunctioning again cytokinesis in plant cells good now obviously same thing will happen we will still have the nuclear membrane reforming the nucleolus and your chromatin network on both sides mm -mm. there we go nucleolus and then here's the interesting part something called the cell plate forms right the cell plate now the cell plate unlike the cleavage furrow unlike the cleavage furrow the cell plate forms from the inside out see how how i draw it it forms from the inside out separating the two cytoplasms of the two Ident genetically identical cells right and then at the end of the day you have your two cells separated by the cell wall right your two cells you have two cells nucleolus chromatin network so this will be your mother cell and this will be your daughter cell exactly the same as the other one that is the two differences basically in summary between your plant and uh, animal cells when they undergo mitosis not meiosis mitosis right so that that, that is a sub that is some a summary of that so in plant cells during prophase uh, spindle fibers will be created from where will be created directly from the cytoplasm 
in animal cells the spindle fibers come from there are produced by the centrosomes cytokinesis in animal cells the cleavage furrow forms from the outside inwards and then it separates the two cells or the, the whole cyto, uh, cytoplasm into two identical cells in plant cells cytokinesis happens in the following way we have the uh, cell plate forming we have a cell plate that forms from the inside out to separate the two cells the two genetically identical cells and that is mitosis in a nutshell